Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this brief update. And I hope you're all having a really great evening thus far. And so I'm here with what is happening across uh, the region as well as what to expect. So I'm going to briefly talk about the potential of seeing something as we're going to be heading into the latter part of June. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, and so as we zoom into the Caribbean region here and surrounding areas, you can see that there has been development of quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity this evening. Uh, there is a tropical wave that is in the area, of course, and so lots of activity in the southwestern Caribbean that I mentioned this morning. And all this convective activity likely inducing heavy rainfall, which could lead to flooding across sections of Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and even Panama as well. We also see lots of activity in the vicinity of parts of Colombia going to Venezuela. Uh, uh, not as much activity, but some still there for some sections of Guyana, especially the northern part of the country, going to sections of Suriname and also French Guiana. Down in the vicinity of Trinidad and Tobago, we can definitely see that there is some activity, again, in association with that tropical wave. And hopefully there was no major flooding in the area, but we also see that some of this activity is extensive into Grenada as well as the Grenadines, some of that possibly even reaching St. Vincent uh, up there. And so uh, it's, it's a pretty busy evening. Going to the northern Caribbean, though, we can see that things are a lot drier some activity developed in the vicinity of uh, in parts of hispaniola as well as cuba and then uh, just in the vicinity of puerto rico a brief thunderstorm that has moved out nothing major happening there right now and uh, things are looking to be mainly clear for the bahamas and so as for jamaica zooming into the island here on infrared satellites we can see that uh, there was a brief thunderstorm across sections of the island northwestern parishes parts of hanover and st james but that didn't last long of course uh, it's mainly cloudy conditions for some areas and there isn't really much happening right now across the island but of course it is pretty windy for some of us down here and so not much more is expected as we progress throughout the rest of today and so let's go on to what is expected as we head into the next several days so we're going to be looking at the euro and the gfs models and so uh, this is a relative humidity map so where we have more of those shades of greens getting darker that is the more uh, humid environment and where we have more of those browns that indicates that things are a lot less humid so the relative humidity is pretty low within those areas now as we're going to be heading uh, of course into the end of this week another tropical wave is going to be making its way from the coast of africa and there we can see all that moisture in association with it as it accelerates towards the west and eventually starts to take on a west northwest or a track and notice that low pressure area that is developing but uh what i want to point out is that a lot of that uh moist area is seen on the eastern side of the system so likely as a result of the wind shear displacing activity it is also going to be in somewhat of a dry environment so those uh combined could really help to suppress any major intensification of that system but uh, as i showed you guys earlier the Climate Prediction Center expecting that, hey, the Northeast Caribbean will be receiving increased rainfall. So let's move on to the GFS now. And so here we have the GFS showing a lot more action. There we can see all that moisture in the Caribbean. And there we have that low pressure area developing, not a strong system. And we eventually see it approaching the Caribbean, uh, staying on a westward track. So unlike Euro, GFS is expecting that, hey, this is going to be on a westward track heading to the Caribbean. And then, of course, uh, there are those very warm ocean waters that will be fueling activity. So above average, as a matter of fact, record warming across the Atlantic. And so guys, development is certainly not impossible, but of course there are those inhibiting factors. And of course, in tomorrow's update, I will be going into a lot more details with this. But for now, if you're in sections of the Southwestern Caribbean and sections of Central America, please take on and start precautions and stay safe. And also for sections of Northern South America, if you're experiencing a lot of heavy rainfall. So that is pretty much it for this brief update. And I hope that you guys found it to be pretty informative. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And remember to always be weatherwise.